this is Annetta Lucero. Thanks for joining me today on Lucero Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do a correct backhand toss. I start in my left hand. This is a typical first backhand toss. And of course you can do it in the right hand as well. I have a thumb to ball, which means my hand is on the baton in a way that if I put my thumb in the air, it's facing the large knob on the baton, which is called the ball. I am presuming that you can do a reverse figure eight, which would be dipping the big end down behind you and coming back to the front. When you're in the front, you twist your hand until it's backwards and then you release your hand and fingers from the baton and simply turn it to the other side to catch. When the baton is rolling over your hand and you're preparing for the catch, be sure to open your thumb away from your fingers so that the baton rolls between the thumb and the fingers. We don't want the baton rolling over the entire wrist and thumb. It's best to go between the fingers and the thumb. Once you've mastered that, you move on to the toss. Reverse eight. When it's just about ready to come into your hand, rather than opening your hand for the catch, you're going to raise your hand very quickly and snappily, but not too high. Just a quick, small snap. One, two, small snap. One, two, small snap. I'm showing this backhand release because when I teach all over Europe, there's a very strange toss that's happening and it's some kind of weird off of the fingertips, like you're flicking water and the baton's coming out of your fingertips. It doesn't appear as if people are learning the correct backhand toss, but it is called a backhand toss because it's tossing off of the back of your hand. When you're teaching it or learning it, if you're beginning with the big end up, make sure that your toss goes all the way around until you catch it once again with the big end up. That way your tosses have consistency. They're doing one revolution and when you begin to toss higher, the revolution continues up in the air rather than going up dead stick, which is another habit that I see a lot. Just like the thumb flip, be sure to bend your elbow and relax your arm as you do the reverse twirl and then keep your arm close to your body when you do the toss. In this way, the baton is going up near you and not far out so that you're not continuing to try to reach for all of the catches. That throws your body placement off because your baton placement is off. It's best to do all tosses very close to you so that it's almost skimming your nose and your body as it's coming down. That way you don't have to chase your baton. You're not running around. You don't get your body off balance. You can stand your ground and twirl strong. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions or would like to request something to learn, just leave it in the comments. Thanks so much. Aloha.